friends in my last video i discussed regarding the public cloud uh, its advantages and disadvantages so in this video we'll be seeing what is a private cloud so this is ranjiraj and you are streaming on the study beast so let's begin so first of all uh, this private cloud as the name suggests it's private uh, like you had in the public cloud in public cloud uh, you can access any resources any services at any time with there is no limitation but there was some uh, security issues uh, with public cloud and to overcome those services or to overcome those drawbacks we have this private cloud now uh, this private cloud is something like that uh, you have it in your own hand you have hosted for your money and you are accessing for yourself and it can be for yourself uh, for an individual or for an organization as well now let's understand with the help of this diagram now this is the uh, whole cloud setup uh, in which you have your own app you have developed your own app you have your information your details your author name blah 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 everything then you have your enterprise it resources in that the switches routers modems gateways ports and everything then you have the cloud os and the cloud internet work in that to communicate between uh, different resources and to uh, produce in an effective manner the output well you can say that and finally you have this enterprise infrastructure for the network server storage and provider infrastructure network server storage means this will be provided by the enterprise and this will be provided by some other third party sites now uh, in this kind of setup basically what happens is that you have two types of private clouds different types one is on premise cloud and one is externally hosted cloud now what this uh, basically means or what is the difference between these two is that on premise means you are accessing within your organization means within your on premise you are building and set up in your own cloud for accessing it but not for any other organization and whereas uh, when talking about externally hosted it is uh, like it is owned by some other companies like amazon it is like actually a public cloud which is owned by some other companies like amazon microsoft rackspace and all but uh, they are giving you the permission to access uh, it as a private cloud for your organization or for your individual itself now the main difference is that so that was the uh, theoretical uh, definition for this externally hosted and on premise now the main uh, difference lies between their costing now this costing for on premise increases uh, as you go with the scalability you know if you want for uh, more storage and for uh, more uh, what you can say resources to be incorporated into that you need to expand your on premise uh, like you scale up the price now for externally hosted they are since hosted by some other third parties uh, there is no requirement for such uh, things so it's like uh, cheaper as compared to the on premise and so uh, let's move on to the definitions for this so private cloud as i said uh, it allows accessibility of systems and services within the organization private cloud is operated only within a particular organization but managed internally by a third party so it is completely managed uh, internally by a third party like uh, amazon google microsoft uh, like we have discussed in the uh, public cloud video so now uh, that was all about this uh, private cloud so it has also got some advantages and disadvantages with it Uh, since in public cloud we had some security issues like security was breached or it's not uh, insecure so uh, in this that uh, kind of issues are uh, resolved like you have high security and high privacy since it's your within your hand you can access these cloud services from within your organization itself not from outside and you have more control and you can easily customize it uh, like the way you want next disadvantages is that uh, it has got some kind of restrictions uh, as compared to the public cloud regarding its design issues and all next it is more cost as compared to the public cloud since you are uh, like you are actually purchasing it from that third party so it will be more costlier then inflexible price inflexible price means if you want to uh, add or delete some of the services from that you need to pay additional amount uh, for that also so that increases its price next is scalability so scalability like less scalability is there you cannot scale uh, like you did in the public cloud so private cloud has got that one as its limitation 
So well, that's all about the private cloud. So hope you enjoyed this video. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Thanks for watching this video.